Okay, so what I'd like to show you just as a little extra side hatch note is how we can use this technique to, let's drop that down to 60, spawn a third set of type of actors. So let's go uh, new in our enumerator, our arena item type, we're going to add a new category to it and let's call it destructible. Uh, destructible. Save that, close that, close that out. That's going to be the asteroid that we're using. Uh, I've, there's a separate video that I'll post, there's sort of a side hatch one on how to create that asteroid in Max. Um, it went a little bit long. There was a little bit of a kerfuffle with the UV mapping that I was just so boneheaded I didn't think to check when I was making it. So it does go a little bit long. You can skip ahead in that one. But it's an extra little side hatch bonus. What we're going to do is change our spawn area again, again. Now that we've saved that arena area item type words, we now have an extra output for destructible. So should we do what with which from this enumerator? Defaults to instant static mesh, we could have child actor, we could have destructible. So we can do any of those three things at the moment. Let's duplicate our num child actors and go num destructibles. Drag that out, get it, and we'll make a for loop, for loop. And we'll plug from destructible into that one and we'll make sure that we change holds control and flip the variable that we created num destructibles into the last index bit. We want to start at zero and end at whatever the default is, which will be, hmm, let's make that something cooler like 16 at least. We want to see some cool stuff. So once we do that, let's destruct, add destructible component and the destructible mesh is going to be our asteroid low poly one and it's going to be at the same location oh no nope, can't do that got to split that struct pin drag from that one down here to that one there and now i think i'm pretty sure that We'll make that inner bit orange on it, I think. That's kind of cool. So what it should do is compile, save, boom. We go in here, we can have a static mesh, we can have our child actors, remembering that we can set that to something cooler like that. And they're the ones that have all their action and their different components and all of that kind of stuff. But now we should, bam, be able to create our destructibles. And that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna set the spawn area to be a little bit higher again. Boom. And we definitely want some rotation on this one. So where we down here got a random float in range for the scale, uh, the rotation. Let's drag that all the way up here. And let's do the same thing for the scale. Let's do it. Alright. And that's just going to convert those that one into a vector where each one that comes in is set to that. So I should be able to do that now. Yeah, they're slightly different sizes. They're at weird rotations. Oh, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So if I play, come in here. Oh. Can't shoot at him. That sucks. That sucks. We need to fix that. So part two, I'm going to show you how you can shoot at these things and get them to smash and be awesome.